What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday to everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long-term issues. It is time now for the Sunday edition of the Pandemic Update for Sunday, January 14th, 2024. Starting off today, we usually do the wastewater update on Sunday. We are going to get to that, but first we're going to do a few news stories that I feel need to be shared today rather than holding off until tomorrow because you saw what happened yesterday. There were a ton of news stories. If we put them off till tomorrow, it would really widen. It would just be too much. So let's do a few news stories first, then we will do the wastewater update. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update. Yes, COVID, flu, everything else. Because remember, all these viruses combined together right now is putting a strain on the hospitals. And that is a pandemic of its own, in my opinion. So if you learn anything here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below. And I promise to help keep you safe. Our first news story today is about spiking COVID variants could cause worse long damage new research shows we're not going to read this full story i have it tweeted out if you want to read the full story however this is quite true as variants evolve each variants can do different things there was the original wuhan variant then you may recall back in 2021 summer there was the delta variant remember that ended up being more severe then along came omicron and there have been several different omicron variants there's now jn.1 we're still learning about jn.1 Though JN.1 is still becoming in the process of dominant around the world, it often takes time for us to learn about it. Alrighty, moving on to this. Risk of death three times higher in Brazilian kids with COVID-19 than with other respiratory viruses study finds. That's not a good thing. Moving on to this now. This is a good thing. Mask mandate returns for Fire Department New York fire ambulance personnel amid rise in COVID and other viruses. However, I do have a problem with this. I mean, it's a good thing they're reinstating it. They should have done it several weeks ago. The COVID portion of the respiratory wave in New York is now on its backside. Why, yes, there's going to still be a ton more cases. It's not rising anymore. It's now at the point where it's starting to drop some. So, I mean, better late than never, but it should have been put in place probably prior to the holidays. Moving on to this now. Taking a look at this from France. See, we're talking about somewhere else in the world now. France, JN.1 variant now represents 70% of infections. All right, let's ease our way over into COVID and wastewater now with another news story. This is coming from my city of Philadelphia. If you're new to the channel, I'm from Southeast Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. I often give my take on what's going on in this area. COVID-19 is surging once again in Philly, but hospitalizations and death are not. Why are we taking a look at this? Well, let me show you why. Coming down here, there are several different treatment facilities in Philadelphia. I think there are three or four of them. This one highlights the one in the northeast section of the city, which happens to be where I live. I thought this was really interesting. Not in a good way. This is really bad. At the Northeast Water Treatment Plant near Bridesburg, for example, health officials reported 41,822 gene copies of virus per liter of water in September. Okay, you might think, well, that's a high number. Ha ha, wait a second. By December, that number was more than 10 times higher at 463,665 gene copies per liter. So if I had a chart, it would literally show it going rapidly upward from September through December. So wastewater levels in the northeast section of Philadelphia are extremely high right now. That's not good. Real quickly, we have to add this. Yet again, Mandy Cohen today has not added anything new during the second biggest wave of the entire pandemic. Taking a look at BioBot wastewater levels, you can see nationally the Northeast is the highest, then comes the Midwest, then comes the South, then comes the West Coast. And it's very interesting that the West Coast never really took off with this wave. You know, sometimes throughout this pandemic, in multiple occasions, we have seen things that are just very unexplainable. 
And this is one of them. The West Coast not really following what's going on in the Northeast here on Biobot. Taking a look at other viruses. Influenza A, Influenza B, and RSV. It varies throughout the country. All levels, all regions of the country for influenza A and B have risen. The Northeast right now is doing the worst. However, when it comes to RSV, RSV has peaked in the Northeast, still rising in the Midwest, and kind of flattening out now in the South and the West. So that is a good thing. Taking a look now at the CDC, and we do want to refresh this to make sure it is up to date, which I believe it is, but here we go anyhow. Yeah, 529 sites now are in this bright red color. Orange is at 60 to 79 percent. That actually dropped, as did the other levels, except for new sites. But that's just a product of the fact that there are so many sites now, wastewater sites, that are at the highest level for COVID. Take a look here. You can see North Jersey, pretty much all red. Maine, a lot of red. Right down to Massachusetts, seen a lot of red. New York is a mixture of orange and red. Ohio, more red than there is orange. And Pennsylvania, there are some orange sites at this time. More on Pennsylvania in a bit. Uh, North Carolina, there's some red sites. You can see here as we just go around orange and red in Chicago and northern Illinois, also in Wisconsin. Then we come out to the west, and things are really getting bad now in Utah and also in California as well. All right, let's go over to one of the CDC pages. And as you can see here, wastewater activity remains very high all across a majority of the country. There are some places now that are starting to drop back down to just high levels. And of course, there's a lot of states where data is not being reported for some reason. But these dark blues and this you know, slightly lighter blue, this one right here, it's still considered a dark blue like Pennsylvania, Illinois, then we come down here to Kansas, which is all at very high levels at this time. And California, the levels are very high, so that's not good. Alaska, can't forget about you or Hawaii. Very high levels for you as well. Hawaii, though, is just slightly lower at high, but again, you, can, you get the idea here. Levels are relatively elevated and high across the country right now. All right, let's go over to wastewater scan. Let's make our way around the country. Let's do a few wastewater sites in each and every region starting off with Portland Maine and right off the bat we see for Portland Maine COVID levels are high but they have been dropping since December 18th the most recent update is up a little bit but they actually have been dropping RSV has peaked for you influenza B is low HMPV at this time is low norovirus is high and continuing to rise that's not good hepatitis A wow multiple detections of that Almost every timestamp here has a detection. That is not good to see, and no detection of MPOX at this time. Let's continue south down to Boston. You may hear some wind in the background. It is really windy right now. A snow squall line is actually getting ready to come through here in Philadelphia. All right, Boston. Taking a look at this. Boston, Massachusetts. High levels of COVID. But you can see it looks like back around Christmas is when they peaked. Per wastewater, it says they peaked, and they are dropping some now. RSV, high end. Look at that. It's starting to actually rise even higher again. Influenza B is still rising. HMPV is rising. Norovirus is dropping this time, and several detections of hepatitis A, but no detections of MPOX. Let's see what's going on in New York State. Can we? All right, how about we come up here to Oswego, New York. And let's see what's going on there. Oswego, New York. Wow. COVID is rapidly rising at this time. RSV was dropping. Now it's starting to rise again. Influenza, not much of an issue at this time. Norovirus, medium, and starting to rise at this time. All right. I got to show you something in Pennsylvania. This is really cool. There is a new wastewater. It's not new, but it's new to wastewater scan. We used to be able to see it with CDC. I think it's one of the sites from CDC. Either way, it is Penn State University, University Park Water Treatment Center. Look at this. It is now on wastewater scan. It's only a population of 16,000. CDC does have another site that has roughly 90,000 population. It is what it is. It's on here. This is fantastic because it will update more frequently. And we can see COVID started out it's starting to rise. Remember, Penn State University just went back last weekend. 
RSV is dropping at this time. Influenza, not an issue. Norovirus is rising at this time, and it's actually rising pretty quickly. That's interesting. So from time to time, we will check back in as more data is logged for that wastewater site. Let's come down now to South Carolina. We have not looked at South Carolina in quite some time. And let's see here. For South Carolina, we do see here, I believe this is the Greenville area, we're seeing here COVID is high, starting to drop slightly. RSV is high, and you know what? It's not really dropping all that much. It's it's still holding its own at this time. That's not good. Influenza B, is there is detections of it, but it's starting to drop. HMPV, there are some detections, and it is rising. Norovirus is high and dropping for so slightly, and there are no detections... I'm not even seeing MPOX listed for this wastewater site. Continuing our way south, let's come down to Florida now. How about we take a look at what is going on in Tallahassee, Florida, because we have not checked there in quite some time. And for Tallahassee, Florida, what we see is COVID is high, RSV is high but dropping, influenza B is high but dropping, HMPV is rising a little bit, norovirus is high and has leveled off, hepatitis A, there was a detection back in December, and everything else is not much of an issue at this time. Now coming westward, let's go see what's going on in Texas, shall we? And today... I thought, why don't we go a little further south in Texas and see what's going on down near the Texas-Mexico border. And we see COVID at this time is rapidly rising. It's in medium levels. RSV is high and rising. Influenza B is high but holding steady. HMPV is high and rapidly rising at this time. And there have been some detections of hepatitis A that go back to last year, but none in the new year so far. Kansas. What is going on in Kansas? Well, in Salina, I hope I'm saying this correct, Salina, Kansas, uh, COVID at this time is dropping. RSV remains high, but is dropping at this time. Influenza is not much of an issue. Norovirus at this time is low, and it is actually starting to drop. Hepatitis A, there were some detections last year, and all the other viruses are not much of an issue at this time. Now making our way up to the Great Lakes. We want to see what's going on. How about we go just north of Indianapolis and see what's going on there. As you see here, north of uh, Indianapolis, this is 86,000 population at Carmel, Indiana, and we see high COVID levels, high RSV levels, high influenza B levels. Why it's coming up high when there's only 10 pathogens, I'm not certain, but it's, it is rising at this time, so it's something that you need to take note of if you're in that area. And all the other viruses are not much of an issue at this time. Going back to the CDC site for just a second, we do want to take a look at Chicago, and I cannot do that on wastewater scan. I do know I have several followers from Chicago, so it's important that we look at Chicago. Cook, 270,000 population is rising this time. Here's another Cook with 467,000 population. It's dropping at this time, but again, still high levels. Here's another Chicago, 1.1 million, and wow, yes, rapidly rising at this time. So that's your look at Chicago. Now making our way out to the West Coast. We have to take a look at the West Coast, and we will go back and do some states in between. Let's take a look at San Jose, California, and see what's going on there. COVID levels are high, and they're actually starting to rise again. RSV is high, but dropping. Influenza B is high, but dropping at this time. HMPV is moderate and dropping. Norovirus was dropping, maybe starting to rise again. Some hepatitis detections, and of course, back in October of last year, there was a detection of MPOX. Let's come down to Los Angeles and see what's going on there. Let's go to the northwest side of Los Angeles this week. COVID is medium and dropping slightly. RSV is high and starting to drop again. That's not good. Influenza B, it's listed as high. There's not that many pathogens, but it is listed as high. And it is rising at this time. HMPV is low. Norovirus is medium and dropping. No detections of MPOX at this time time. Now let's go over to Las Vegas and see what is going on there. Have to refresh the page. And let's take a look at Las Vegas, shall we? Because we have not looked at Las Vegas. I don't know. Did we do it last week? I don't remember. High levels of COVID and continuing to rise. That's not good. RSV is high but dropping at this time. Influenza B is high but dropping at this time. HMPV is low. Norovirus is high. 
and starting to rise even higher, and there are no detections of MPOX this time. Some detections, though, of uh, hepatitis at this time. Salt Lake City, what's going on in your area? Salt Lake City, we see COVID at this time is high but dropping. RSV is high, and it was rising. Maybe it's trying to level off now. Influenza B is high but dropping. HMPV is dropping, and norovirus is dropping, but all those remain at high levels, and there are multiple detections of hepatitis A at this time. Going back to the CDC website again, I want to do the Pacific Northwest, and Wastewater Scan doesn't really have many sites. Can't do much of anything for Oregon, but we can do some sites up in Washington. You can see here, here's a red site here at Thruston, which is at 119,000 population, and wow, it is high and continuing to rise. So let's come up closer to Seattle, and at this time, we do see dropping wastewater levels in Seattle area. Some of them are rising, like this one at King, 789,000 population, and that is rising. And also, look at this, Pierce and King. This is 896,000 population, and that is continuing to rise at this time, so that is not good to see. And we do see there are a few other places in the central portions of Washington, like Franklin, for example, moderate and continuing to rise, which makes sense. You did not have a big wave with JM.1 yet, and it looks like you're getting it now. Spokane, Washington, 225,000 population and continuing to rise. Going back to wastewater scan, we'll just do two more sites here, and then we will call it a day on wastewater. And I think we should come back east again, don't you? I think we should come up here to St. Cloud, Minnesota, and see what is going on there. We see COVID is high, dropping ever so slightly. Remember, this is 120,000 population, so this is not a small site. RSV is high at this time and continuing to rise. Low influenza, low HMPV. Norovirus is high but dropping. And MPOX, not an issue. And hepatitis A, not an issue. Let's do one more wastewater site, and that will be it for today. How about we come down to Iowa? Let's go over by... Uh, let's go to this site here near Iowa City and see what's going on there, shall we? And in Iowa City, we see, wow, so COVID was already high. It was bouncing around on the top. Now on the most recent update, it's starting to rise again. RSV is still rising. Influenza B has dropped, HMPV, it's there, but it's at low levels. Norovirus is high and looks like maybe it's starting to rise again or leveling off. It was trying to drop, now it's leveled off a little bit. Hepatitis A was detected back last year, and there was also an MPOX detection back on November 8th of last year, so that's something interesting to take note of. Alrighty, that was a lot of data. Hopefully I got to your region. If not, look during the pandemic updates throughout the week. I always do try to add in a few wastewater sites on days where there is less news. If you learned anything from this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. If you know anyone that needs to see this content, by all means, share this with them. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching.